Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more New Granada, since that's where all we are right now. So, <clears throat> the I've literally this is still actually the first recording session. Uh, I put out the first video a few hours ago, and the Cadillos uh, appear to be winning in a landslide, like with over two thirds of the votes. Uh, the YouTube comments particularly unhinged. Discord was remarkably even on their uh, on their votes, but everyone appears to be in favor of bringing the Cadillos into government. Yeah, that actually freezes it. It won't tick up because we do have a very beloved uh, theocrat here in the Catholic Church who uh, is capable of standing up to the Cadillos for now. All right. I'm kind of stuck. I, do, I need definitely need my army, as is. I don't know how you're maintaining that army. Well, you know what? I have enough money. I'm going to go for yet another construction sector, even though this is a terrible idea. You know? Like, I do not have the iron for this, but... I'll add iron to the queue, you know? I'll add a tooling workshop to the queue. At least the queue will be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Do I want to go with Mint? I mean, this is actually, like, generally a decent company, or at least it can be. Depending on how much gold you have, and as I push through Bolivia and... Some minimum wage is always good. Collect more gold, that should be nice. Yeah, there's a ton of gold in Bolivia. And it appears my efforts in the slave trade have gone quite well. Like, if I look at the workforce here, yeah, we've got like... Yeah, 30,000 slaves have already been brought in. Mm-hmm. In just one province at that. So, like... It's uh, it's pretty clear that that's going well. Alright. God, I have so much to build and so little time. Feels bad. We're at least at 25 now, and remarkably, that wasn't too bad. Can I just afford another one? Probably not, but I feel like I kind of want to try. Oh good, you're building opium plantations. Those are good to have. I mean, I am breaking straight even. Screw it. I'm, uh, I'm gonna build it. That's the problem. It takes 18 fucking weeks to build one of these. Yeah, and I don't have the iron. Like, that will just break things, because I do not have the iron to sustain it. That is acceptance on my part. Right. It's weird to build so many things before gold mines, but trying to get my construction sector off the ground is hard, man. Probably enthusiastic partisans. Hmm. Go forth and fight the good fight. Well, now maybe we should chill the Liberal Party. They're not getting much of the vote anyway. Ah, yes. The Dixies have decided to flee. Mm -hmm. The good old days. Won't someone think of the children? Early, uh, early, I've seen a lot of early American Civil Wars. And also a concerning number where the U.S. cannot defeat them. Although I think that kind of goes hand in hand, where the longer you wait, the easier it is to defeat the South. Or maybe not. I don't know. This one, I assume this one's probably in Ecuador. Ecuador is another uh, point for, like, industrialization, so it's on my mind. No. Do not care. Conservative Party takes 87% of the vote. No surprise there. Alright. 
And we get a little bit extra authority, do we? 101. Alright, I kind of want to have a go over of my decrees. I know I did a lot of the uh, whole social mobility thing, but I think I'm going to revoke that. In favor of more and more greener grass campaigns. You know? Like, let's just try and pull in people. That'll help a little bit. Mm hmm. We've still got, like, a lot of work to do, obviously. Ah, yeah. Peace. So, America. How are you, uh, how are you feeling about things? You know? Like, oh, I don't know, a trade agreement? We're literally at zero. Okay. Zero if we offer an obligation. Okay. Defensive pack, perhaps? Negative 40. Fair enough. But, like, a trade agreement lets us go up to 80. Which, yeah, that helps a lot. It also will save me a lot of bureaucracy. So I think I have to go with that either way. Oh, shit. Oops. Sorry, America, I meant I am willing to give you an obligation for the trade agreement. There we are. Alright. And we got the New Grenadine American Society. Good. Yep. That's good. No. Alright. Elected bureaucrats. I don't really want elected bureaucrats. So, please stop. That'd be ideal. Okay. Okay. So, with that in mind, where are we at? We got uh, the trade agreement with the U.S. An alliance with Brazil. Alright. That should hopefully let us uh, eventually join the American power block. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're currently at minus 12, and it's mostly because we are economically independent from them. And, like... I'm not against, say, importing a pile of grain from you for a while. I would also love to import iron... Tools. There. That'll help a fair bit, I hope. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, we have a ton now. Especially as I, like, clean up whatever other crap I've got. Yeah, there we are. There's all my freaking bureaucracy, man. I'm not really worried about the shortages. There. There. Anyway, with all that bureaucracy... Because, yeah, like, the U.S. and that can take over. Yeah, that one takes forever, but whatever. Barely has any population, so. Uh, where did I do the greener grass campaigns? Okay, yeah. Yep. Good. Alright. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Alright, so with the extra, like, iron coming in, it's no longer necessary for me to wait on building, but on the other hand... 
We are suddenly at negative 2,000 for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Yeah. Let's get another thing down anyway. Alright. So when can I go to war with Bolivia again? December 1850. So we're almost there. And then uh, I'm going to put an end to Bolivia. After that, I don't know. Argentina and Chile still exist. Like, we got work to do. I kind of want to unite the whole Hispanosphere, after all. Ooh, the water tube boiler. That's big. There we are. That uh, probably solves a lot of problems, other than, Jesus Christ, do I need more tools? Um... Yeah. Of course, tools are more easy to solve if I just build a steel mill. So. Because then, I just get steel tools. Unfortunately, it seems like it takes forever. Alright. We still do not have the Bessemer process, so let's work on that. And then mechanized workshops. Okay. Good. So. Negative 51 now. Oof. Cohesion reduction if Granada joined. Why suddenly is there a ton of cohesion reduction if I join? Lowest economic depend... In de I see. No longer the same. All that work done in an instant. Yeah, that's fine. Like, we have a trade agreement with the US, so it'll work. Alright, we're back to plus 128, so I'm going to get the construction sector built. And hopefully try and speed up the construction of the steel mill. Because, yeah. On laissez-faire does mean that the investment pool does a hell of a lot of work. I don't know. What does Argentina have for, like, troops? Chile has a boatload. Again, how do these people have so many troops? With no GDP. I guess by, like, just not having construction sectors, probably. That would probably make sense. Mm -hmm. That would probably make sense. Hmm. Traditionalist, traditionalist. No thanks. Alright. Ah, yes, we need engines. Should be able to import those from America. Apparently, also need artillery. Already doing it. But, yeah. We also need more clippers. Already importing from them. Uh, I accept that, yeah. By all means, Brazil. If you wish to build things in my country, I accept. Alright. On that note... I think, uh, I think it's time to fuck some shit up. Specifically in Bolivia. Alright, so conquer La Paz, Santa Cruz, Tosi. Like, I can kind of just go for it all, can't I? Barring running out of the, of the play things, which I won't, so. And if I do that, conveniently, they won't um, surrender either, because they'll get plus 50 from threatening annexation so uh, they just become uncertain so I just march my uh, army down there and away we go things are getting better with the yeah, 7.5 oof yeah 
Got a pretty decent advantage. Raise the conscripts. We want to uh, upgrade the cavalry. Alright. Lobbyist lecture in Bogota. Armed forces gain the upper hand. Let them grow in power. They're very useful if I can get them. Uh, honestly, let them fight. I don't want a protectionist on my industrialists. And I didn't want a radical on my petite bourgeois. Unfortunately, I just re-rolled a new protectionist, so that didn't go as planned. Okay, so we're doing this again, where I... Just kind of have one of you attack, I think. Because the moment more than one of you try and attack, it doesn't go so well. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. God. So then Chile's next. Just gotta try and contain this incredible army they have. Like, holy crap, that's an army. Alright. Yeah, they're just willing to make peace pretty much right away. Or not quite. They'll have to be reduced fully to zero. Which, admittedly, isn't going to take particularly long, so... Yeah, they lose ten a week. Alright. Done. Now that's annexation. And also, if I'm not mistaken, should unlock colonial affairs for me. Oh, yeah, it has to be a homeland. Okay, so yeah, I have to do resettlement then. I could also do exploitation, but I think resettlement is better. Since I do want that sweet, sweet migration attraction. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, there we are. Bolivia. Technically, I can probably now form the uh, Federation of the Andes. Yeah, I've got more than enough. I'm actually just missing Santiago and Los Rios. Although, I'm willing to keep going. Alright, so I have 250-odd bureaucracy, so let's start incorporating. Anywhere that uh, is a South Andean homeland. It is morally correct. Damn right it does. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, taxes are just going to keep coming in, I think. Against the odds. Enforce segregation. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to start being able to colonize these guys. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Right. I guess I would need an interest down here, wouldn't I? And we'll declare an interest in the Rhine. I wouldn't mind the great powers having their eye on me. Chile has just gone and declared a rivalry. Okay. I thought we were friends, Chile. I thought we were friends. Alright. So yeah, 5.2 infamy. 9. Alright, so like 10. 10. 10. 10, okay. 
So, like, in a little bit, I can push for annexation of Argentina. Mm. Slow down. The law isn't signed yet. Yep. There we are. Well, that'll make it easy. All right. Mm-hmm. Brazil guaranteeing our independence. How nice. Colonial outsourcing. Of course. Yes, we fully intend to. You can try and fight back. It will not help. Alright. Denmark. Danes are coming. Yeah. I'd really like to get off of state religion, ideally. Because then I can get so many more people coming in. The armed forces must remain loyal. 10% minimum wage is fine. Alright. So we got the uh, steel mill, right? Start funding it. Like, I'm not expecting a whole lot. This thing does do... Yeah, let's get a tooling workshop. That's the next thing we build. But like, let's get the steel mill up and running. So that way we can swap it to, uh... Better. I mean, honestly, yeah, we need a lot of tools. Let's go. Against the odds. Yes, keep discriminating. It's fine. <sighs> All right, and tooling workshop, go. There we go. More tools. It helps a little bit. Yeah. And I think that was Dutch. I didn't see where it was from, but yeah, we are getting a lot of migration now, which is nice. Oh yeah, I can do that. Jesus, I didn't realize that my government wage is still capped. Okay. Let's actually get like two more construction sectors. That's great. Just gotta keep growing. Yeah, and as I grow, it becomes easier to support this army that is like slightly better than everyone else's. And that's really all I need, you know? Like I have an army here that is roughly capable of taking on both Argentina and Chile. Be better if I could get general staff, but yeah. All right. Oh wait, I have other construction sectors. Yeah, they should all be on iron frame. Let's go. Nice. We're getting there. The uh, private sector can now do two buildings at once. Yeah, that is huge. It really is. Like, we're... We're expanding the economy. We're out of, like, the worst state. You know? Alright. Why does Uruguay randomly claim this province? Have a claim all along there, I guess. Armenians. Fair enough. Yeah, we're getting a crap load of migrants now. <laughs> Which is good. Every single body who enters pays taxes. Alright. Oh yeah, wait, I passed the colonialism law, didn't I? Which also means I can start establishing colonies. Nice. Mm hmm. Plantinan. Alright, good. Prussia is now protective of us. I mean, hypothetically, how protective? You know? Mm. 
We'll see. Negative 37. I guess it's against my national leverage. Fair enough. Woo. Alright, some peasants. Yeah, I have like 6,000 income. My income is going up the more construction sectors I build, which isn't how this is usually supposed to work, but... I don't know. Let's build two more and see what happens. Is it just uh, landowners getting happy? I think it's just landowners getting happy. Or no. Right. No, it's just when they stop being angry at me that my income randomly spikes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no. Investment uh, efficiency is high. I just need to start actually trying to spend all of this money. <sighs> what the fuck is happening? It, mm, these charts never really help, but... I think I'm getting a lot more money. It's just hard to tell. You know? I feel like at some point, though, I'm just going to max out the iron again. Again, it just kind of keeps ticking up. Well, I have a trade route, so my iron price can't get too high, I guess. Forces petition government for landed voting. Um, yeah, can we maybe do National Guard as a compromise? Like, I don't really want to do landed voting. No. All right. Wow. From farms to factories. That uh, that's quick. That is freaking quick. All right. Then curiosity, who do I got on offer for generals right now? Anyone? A radical, a traditionalist, and a slaver. Hmm. If I'm doing the Cadillos, like... <laughs> I like that I can't even freaking do that. Uh, then it will work for me to have, like, popular generals. Alright. Because they can actually replace my civilian leadership. Jesus Christ, why are you back up at 6,000? Let's just keep building more construction sectors. But my money just keeps going up. Mm -hmm. It is national revenue for sure, but like, God. Alright, we're just breaking 10,000 again. It might be related to the incredible amount of, like, population I'm getting, you know? It's annoying, because I would also, among other things, really like a uh, engine factory. It's on the list of shit to build. Mm-hmm. Panama Railway, nice. Yeah, we're trying to develop anyway. God. Well, we're getting there. Alright, maybe another one? It's absurd. Alright. So, let's see. Argentina might side with Chile. That's annoying. But... Brazil then sides with me on this one, potentially. Great Kaka Earthquake. 
Uh, yeah. Try and deal with it. We can do that. Alright, let's also upgrade my mills. I know I've kind of left that going for a while. But, yeah. Let's try and up our production a little bit at least. We can do canning now. Can meat. There we go. Alright. We're back to breaking even, although I do have a 5,000 freaking expense. So, let's build another one. Honestly, at least it's building faster now. Which helps. Mm -hmm. Modern sewage unlocked. Nice. And that fixes the infrastructure use. So, America, you choose anything with that uh, second mandate yet? No? Alright. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to accept me. Unity and tradition. Yes. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about the industrialists just taking off. Although, it's probably not too bad. What I think I can do is just kind of slip into an oligarchy and be pretty chill. Like I could go try and go for all the way for autocracy, but... Eh, well, maybe. The problem is, like, I don't necessarily want to do that with this person leading my country, which is why I want to leave it on voting rights. Because eventually, I should either get, like, an industrialist or an armed forces person in there, and then that's a lot better to roll with, you know? So, I'm being hesitant. Jesus, minus 85 steel. Okay. Yeah, we've actually uh, blown through the investment pool. So that's good. Oh yeah, there's an uprising. But, like, yeah, we're quickly getting so much GDP. Eh, 27 for me. Good, not foreign. Eh. Great. And exile at the gates. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Catholic Church will continue being a leading force. Alright. And the Native Uprising is over, which means we now colonize hyper-fast. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah. That's pretty good. Got lots to colonize. Yeah, minus 43,000 is a lot. Pro part of the problem is, like, they're nationalizing everything I'm building, so... I think I actually need to chill and stop building. Go Bessemer process. Alright. Alright. Brazil building things, nice. Alright. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing pretty good. Everything's slowly climbing. Alright. So it doesn't take much to take out Chile.
Like, it's, I think it's pretty obvious I need to go at Chile first. So that's what we're going to do. And Brazil can be swayed since they're my ally. Oh, they can they declared neutrality really God well we'll wait and see they're adding in a lot of shit for somebody who is afraid of me on that note we can get everything we can in terms of uh, recruits, please, and thank you. Uh, oh shit, I waited too long. God damn it. <laughs> I, I I really do struggle with that. Waiting for the last uh, possible moment, you know? It minimizes the chance that they back out, so it's one of those things where like, I know I kind of have to do that. Get whatever we can. But it looks like they got no support either, so it works out. The offensive planner. Although, honestly, it's probably you I want. Although I probably should check your opinion. Ah, eh, you're a slaver. Not the end of the world. But yeah. Good. Let's just crack our way through and just kind of annex Chile. So they're kind of still building stuff. Fertilizer plant in Lima. How are we doing here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's coal. Coal is good. How's wood? Wood's good. Alright, not bad. Furniture is very necessary. Wow. Okay. We do have a lot of peasants here, but I'm hesitant to uh, try and urbanize that with literally everything. Uh, so, Kaka is 14. Like, ideally, like, this would be where I'd want to put the furniture factory. Other than the Amazonian rainforest. The Andes aren't exactly much better. Uh... Okay, here's where I'm going to want to put the furniture factories. Yeah. Just build furniture factories there for a while. Alright, it looks like their army kind of is collapsing, so we're getting there. Dutch from the Netherlands. God, what happened to you, like, Netherlands? Why is everyone angry enough to mass migrate to me multiple times? Alright. Uh, yes, I would be happy to pursue this. That's amazing. They still won't accept. Or is it a mutual thing that they wanted to establish? Ah. Yeah, the opportunity there. <sighs> How do I feel about that? Generates leverage. 
But I'm concerned that my people will start building abroad. I vastly prefer granting investment rights where possible. And like, it's one of those things where I kind of recognize that it's actually not going to be too long that the U.S. has... Uh, okay, filing cabinets, please. Yeah, we're all on iron frame buildings. Good. All right. Incorporate some states. Just incorporate it all. Nice. Yeah. All right. As a little added bonus now, I am, I've, yep, yeah, I'm at 19 out of 15 required. 19 out of 19. Eight out of eight. Yep, I have uh, federated the Andes. Importantly now, the likes of, uh, you know, Argentina and Uruguay and Paraguay all stand alone. And before long, I will have everything I need. And then maybe I'll be turning my... Oh, Jesus Christ, really. As I say, I'm going to have to turn my, my eyes northward. But, um, hmm. That's certainly a bit of a problem. Alright. I also might need to... I don't know. 9,000 on paper is a lot on paper. Like... Yeah. I got work to do. You start sulfite pulping. Let's go. Like, make paper. Come on. Unrealized taxes. Yeah. Alright. Still, our, uh, our greater and greater, uh, Grand Columbia just continues to grow. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised that Brazil's okay with me existing. I would figure they would be up for trying to kill me. Because I like they have claims and stuff on some of my areas, but... Yeah, they're pretty chill. Alright, do I have any good industry stuff that I can do yet? I do like the metalworks. More tools for the tool god. Yeah, we actually have managed to get enough tools. We managed to get enough tools. We managed to get enough steel. Looks like I could use some more iron, though. At least throw that out. What's going on here? There a reason this ain't working? Okay. Just taking time. <sighs> like, it would also get me a pile of influence. Okay. You know what? I accept. There. That will ensure that I can join the League of Preferential States. There you go, America. You want to be trade partners? Oh. <sighs> we can be trade partners. Uh, I think that's a good, uh, good high note to end it on. I say with my concerning monetary balance. I'll look into that. And seeing what I can deal with. Jesus. Yeah, 180 from 12 trade routes. Okay, you know what? We're not done yet. God damn it. Stop with the freaking random ass trade routes to people who aren't me. Alright, there we are. Now the real question is what do I do with that? Well, I should probably get the improved colonial growth generation. But, yeah. And the next question is... Do I start colonizing? Have claims and maintain interest there. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. 
We'll, uh, we'll need to deal with Argentina on that front, won't we? Alright. With that in mind, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I have been your lovely host, Gilvin, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.